हेलो एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस एंटेंगल सेशन एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू ड्रॉ ऑन अ थ्री एंड हाफ इंच स्क्वायर टाइल इन दिस एंटेंगल सेशन आई एम योर होस्ट निधि प्रकाश एंड I welcome you all Ola Mari Carmen Lopez and I want to say sorry in advance that if I pronounce any name wrong I'm sorry Mari I don't understand what you wrote in your uh, you know comments because I know only English and Hindi that's it I just know two languages and good morning Judith from PA yes daylight saving time started today so it's kind of 1 hour early for us today but uh yes that's great good morning kathy from canada ontario good afternoon florence <laughs> i know this is unnecessary but what to do hi hello celine from france espanol i know mary i don't understand the espanol i'm sorry my kids understand they speak few words so i just know few words that's it hi mary jenny from belgium so nice to have you all and today we are going to work on a 3 and a half inch square area you can if you don't have this tile you can just draw a 3 and a half inch square area on your any paper and we can work on with whatever supplies you have we are going to follow along these eight basic methods of the centangle in the session as it's a centangle method and we always do if you have joined my earlier session and today's what is the design what i have planned is really like very filled and you know lot of things are uh, today in this artwork and lots of different kind of the uh, tangles we are going to use so it will be fun so are you guys started hello shruti yesterday's session was very nice we drew this mandala although i couldn't complete it yet we i kind of we did it kind of halfish 1 2 3 4 5 6 so kind of two third uh, we did in yesterday's session and I didn't get time to see on the Facebook. I I think I got some notification that some of you have been uh, kind of shared your artwork on the Facebook page. So we did it on the eight inch square paper yesterday, and today we are going to work on a three and a half inch square. No problem, Kathy. You can do. Take your time. So let's start our today's session. So I want to start with the first step of the Zentangle method, that is the gratitude and appreciation. So I want to start saying thank you to all of you who joined me. Thank you for all these beautiful supplies which I have, and this wonderful time where this is kind of the me time, and I'm spending this me time with all of you, and I'm. really grateful to all of you to being part of this art journey if you want you can spend few moments you can close your eyes think of any very good moment of your life and you can bring a smile on your face and let's start with our second step that is the corner dots you can use any pencil start making the corner dots in your tile and the border and i would like to draw this border just on the three side don't draw on the left side of the tile we don't really need it on that side we can skip drawing the border on the this right side vertical and as i told you like it's a filled kind of the tile so we don't really we are not really looking for any kind of the string now this is the 
tangle time. So I want you to start working with your Micron pen. I'm here using Micron 01. Let me focus it a little bit much closer. And the first angle which we are going to draw on this left side of our this border is the very beautiful and very very useful tangle that is my to go tangle and that is the tipple we are going to draw very tiny circles on the whole line just on this one border keep your circles very tiny So this is what the tangle which we are using tipple. Thank you, Kathy. For this appreciation now we are going to use our next angle that is the dragon air tangle so let's first write down in the back this is the tipple we are going to use it a little bit more and this is the zen tangle original tangle so i'm writing z here and the next tangle we are going to use is the dragon air by Norma Burnell CZT this is a seed and the cadent family tangle if you have worked with me in the uh, in this tangle marathon so these are the lots of seed and cadent family tangle and this is the dragon air by Norma Burnell CZT we are going to draw this one in our tile so we start on this left one and we keep on making the seed we leave a little space And you see these loops are getting little bigger. So they are getting kind of, you see this little slanted. So here I'm going to start joining them, joining these seeds with the S curve. We are drawing this S line starting inside and joining it from the outside. Take off and landing. Hello Navi. And now we are going to draw the double line. Or a line and then we are going to draw this just in our borderline and don't draw all the way, just draw till here, kind of half-ish. Draw 
just the little L shape border double layer and I'm very excited today because in this border we are going to draw one tangle that is named Kinari 1. This is the tangle which we are going to draw here and it has been deconstructed by me. This is the deconstruction. You start with the border line. We can start with the double or the single. Then we draw this zigzag line or the triangles. Then in the bottom side we draw these kind of the flowers. We fill the space and draw the aura line on the other side. And that's it. You can put this tangle either into the border and the uh, frame category and you can use it as the little ribbon style too. But I want to put this tangle into the border category tangle. So I would suggest you to add this one in your border category tangle. These are the ribbon ones and these are the border and the frame. So you can put into the border and the frame category tangle. This one in your Tangle Marathon book. So let's start drawing the first step inside. And we'll just draw kind of till here. If we required, we'll add more, but I would suggest you to just draw till little halfish on the bottom side. Now, let's start from this side. We are going to draw this little flower with the three petals and fill this bottom triangle. Start with the center petal. Turn your tile. Don't forget to fill the space. So, is anyone here from India? Because today it's the daylight saving time is started. So, for India it's one hour early, right? So Shruti, are you happy with this time or you are happier with the old time? And now we are going to work on the top part. That is just the aura line. If you have bigger space, you can draw extra lines 
If you have less space, you can draw these lesser aura lines. By Nidhi Prakash. CZT. Don't forget to add this one in the border in the frame category one. And But if you want to add it into the frame one, feel free to do that. Like the... Um, flowy ribbon one that's your choice but I would like to put it into the border and the frame category good evening mommy so nice to have you here love to see you in my session my mom joined from India my session I'm so happy now we are going to draw the double line, like the boundary line of this whole uh, dragon air. Yeah, it's 8.30 there, right? Otherwise, it was 9.30. Okay. Now, we are going to draw here the hollyhock. So, it's kind of the leaf style tangle. We are going to start from this corner. So shall I go ahead? Is everyone doing well? Whoever is drawing along with me, please write down in the chat. My screen is out of focus. How about now? I'm sorry for that and thanks for letting me know, Deborah. Drawing awesome, Judith. Awesome, Florence, Navi, Shruti, Kathy. That's so cool. So, now we are going to draw this hollyhock tangle. Little better. Has this started already? Yesterday you said same time as one. Oh. Uh, so, Anne, uh, this is the daytime... Uh, uh, daylight saving time today so it started one hour early for you I know I'm so sorry we just did little bit you I think you can catch up you can start the uh, video from the beginning but you can still connect it with me you can stay connected with me uh, in the chat so now from this corner we are going to draw the hollyhock tangle we are going to go one this curvy line going into the one side and then from here it's going to the other side. And now we are going to draw this heart shape kind of leaf and now we are going to draw inside of this this is the one petal which is sitting into the, into the very center of these two twigs. And you will see a little change variation of this beautiful tangle. This double leaf 
as well as we are going to make this also double like these little curve that is the best part of all these tangles that you can add your own elements to them and now we are going to start drawing these leaf along with this curve Let me make it a little bit more closer if that helps. Now we are going to repeat the same thing on the other side. So the next step is to fill all these leftover spaces but in this particular design I would like you to draw these beautiful circles or the tipples in this leftover space. And now we are going to fill rest of the space. So this is just a little addition, variation to the same tangle. And here in the center also we are going to draw these beautiful like the peas in the pod circles now we are going to fill this rest of the space You can turn your tile to get the good angle. I know because of this daylight saving today it might be a little uh, difficult for a lot of you like you missed the session or you were not aware about this right time although I made the post 
on my Facebook page about the time, but you know, the regular time, it's different from the regular time, so it happens with everyone. But the best part is you can start from the beginning this video and you can still connect it with me, you can talk with me right now in the chat. So it's a little variation in the hollyhock. I'm super excited for all my Patreons and for all my YouTube Okanabo members. And I want to say thank you who joined me yesterday, so many of you. And as a Patreon, as a Oak member, as a Banyan member in the YouTube that I really appreciate and want to say thank you. And I'm super excited. I'm working on the one 14 inch paper mandala for you guys. That is the, again, secret geometry based mandala on the... On Metatron's cube. Very soon you will see that. You will get the video of it. I showed the picture of that work in progress yesterday. So what is the difference between Oak and Banyan? So the only difference is that you can support me more. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that is the main thing. If you want to support me more, you can join the Banyan. Uh, but you will unlock the same all uh, Manlas, same all member only videos there is no extra videos for the banyan but you can support me a little extra by joining that and that helps me running these sessions Now here we are going to join it from these two curvy lines also. So it's a little variation of this hollyhock tangle and it's a nice leaf category tangle by Jason. L A U C Z T seventeen. And now I'm drawing the aura line to this tangle. Hi Bree, thank you Bree. So I don't do live for my members, but I made I generally make videos and I upload because generally all the member only videos are a little longer. They I cannot finish them in one and a half hour or something like that. So because we are working on the big projects for the members, as you can see, one of the 
Mandla, which I'm working right now. This is the work in progress picture you can see on the screen. It's on the 14 inch square and I have already worked that much. It's been more than three hours. So and it's going to take a lot more hours as you go outer in the outer layers, right? So that's why I make bigger uh, projects for my all members and for all my Patreons and I upload the video. Uh, but you can connect with me, you know, you, if you have any questions regarding those videos or something, you can ask me, send me videos like the other bundle which we did uh, last month. So this is this one. This is the Mandla 3D Flower of Life. Why I call it 3D Flower of Life? Because it looks like 3D-ish style. So it's a little, if you want to see again, so it's little uh, 3 dayish look into the center portion. So this is again on the 14 inch square paper and it took a lot of time. So thank you Bree. So you can once you join as a Patreon or as the Oak member or the Banyan member, you can unlock all these uh, videos, member only videos at once. That is the best part. It's not that you just get the one video or the two video. As I told you in the beginning, we are going to use lots of tangles today here in this artwork. And that's why I'm super excited for this style. So we have already used these four. And now here we are going to work in this uh, bottom right corner. And we are going to use a little variation of the jokey tangle. Here are the two already, these two style of the jokey. We are going to use uh, like the same one. But as you know, we are going to add a little bit of our own style. So from here, we are going to go near to the corner. And then here, next step is to draw this petal and come back and join to the base and you keep on adding these little sections as a petal Now in this remaining area, we would like to draw this is the little variation which I was talking in the beginning. So it's the little third style of the jokey. That's the best part of these tangles that you can add your own elements and you can make them a little different. So these are the two variations. Oops, you can't see them. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Kathy is asking, are you committed to a certain amount of time if you join? So Kathy, I think you have to join at least for one month. That is, I think, for the $10 for the Oak. Uh, but you can just, uh, you can, if you want, you can just skip after the one month and you don't, you just leave it, don't continue it. I think that's the minimum but if you want you can keep continue so it's it will be it will charge you ten dollars per month it it's like that I think now we are going to draw little double lines in the top part of these jokey
there is no commitment like it's uh, absolutely how long you want to keep your membership you can discontinue your membership whenever you feel like So this is the jokey tangle. Let me just write it down by Kim Arts DZT. Now here on this right side we are going to draw a beautiful dude tangle by Zentangle. This is a Zentangle original tangle. Kathy is saying thank you. I'm not sure of the commitment at this point, but we'll keep in mind. I have. Oh, yay. It will be fun with the grandkids from Australia. That's awesome. Yeah, enjoy your time. And you can have fun with them. You can decide whenever you are free. So now is this due tangle. Again, here is one another version of this, the same tangle. We are going to draw in this section. Is everybody, whoever is drawing along with me? If I'm a patron member, do I also need? Uh, it's uh, no, Judith, because you are going to get absolutely the same. Uh, you are going to unlock the same videos. Uh, there, there is no difference in the Patreon and the Oak YouTube member. There is no difference. But if you want to support me more, you can join. Uh, it's your choice. But otherwise, you are not going to get more videos by joining both. Awesome. So we'll start from this base point, like this our borderline point. So this will be my first line. And then we'll leave little space. And this next twig and we'll go along they all are separated they are not connected with each other they are a little different there is little space in each one of them This is a beautiful border style. Now we are going to draw the aura line where we are going to connect them with each other. So from here, this is the aura line. It will come here and it will connect to this top one like this. Now we'll draw the aura line and this is going to connect with the top one. In that way we keep on drawing this aura line. And we'll stop here as of now. We keep on repeating the same thing. It's a wonderful tangle. I love this one how it has been deconstructed. Now after doing, doing this just one uh, section we are going to draw 
the tipples at various places it's your choice how many you want to add in these different sections if you want you can add little extra little big or a small There is no hard and fast rule that you have to add one or two and three. You can skip some places. You can add as many as less you want here. Now here we are going to just draw the stipple to connect it. We will draw here later. Shall I go ahead? Let me remove these extra ones. I'm just going to keep one one of the, each tangle. And this is the due tangle. D E W T from it's the Zen tangle original tangle. We are done with the six tangles and still we are left with kind of this much space in the tile, right? Isn't it crazy? So now we are going to start working here and we are going to use the tangle Bronx Spear that is again the Zen Tangle original tangle, the Bronx Spear. So we are going to start from this point and it's kind of going go up so first thing is to start drawing from the center this line where we are going to set our these circles as you see these circles are getting thinner as we are reaching to the top so the circle line on the both side of the center line this is the first step Next step is to draw. Let's first draw a circle on the next line. On the both side. We can draw one more line if we want. We can make it a little bit thicker. And here it can go a little bit longer.
again how we add it in the in this hollyhock like this is stem in the three parts so we can add this three part stem here also Now the next is to give little dimension to these circles. No need to fill all of them. Leave little space in the center. They look really good when you don't when you don't fill all the way like rather fill them a little bit messy leave a little space here and there in these circles they create beautiful texture in that way that is the beauty of this tangle We can draw one one more layer of the circles in the bottom. So this is our bronze spear and I would like to draw one more bronze spear going into this direction going little right side circles are getting thinner as they are reaching to the top of this spear this is the first layer of the circles and then we'll draw the next layer of the circle. That is also getting smaller. thinner and I really want to add one more layer into it and to give it a little flow going like this Now the next step is to set up the stem and to fill the circles. To set up the stem and to fill the circles and leave little space into the center leave little space into the center try not to fill the whole one and whatever you are filling fill them in a little uh, messy style like we are not filling all the way very clearly like 
we really want to see little bit of the white in these circles in between and inside to see that effect lot of drama perfect it's the bronze spear awesome and now we are going to draw one more tangle before we go ahead that is where is that that is the fern tangle One, of, one more leaf tangle. This is the fern. So feel free to add it, uh, you know, wherever you think you have the space in your tile. And you want to add this one. I'm going to add few of them. kind of the mocha but with a little different style of this fern now one I would like to do like here like here This is the fern tangle and I'm going to add maybe one here. So which tangle is your favorite one so far? We have drawn so many of them. Do you find anyone which you are liking really? Or any tangle which you already, you love drawing that one. Which one is your favorite in these tangles which we have drawn in our this tile? Let me know in the comments if any tangle is calling you kind of. Bronx spear, okay, Kathy. You can add your own variation or little different style. That's absolutely okay. That's the fun, right? Dragonair. Okay, now we burn. Okay, cool. That's nice. Now here, let's add one more. That's it. Now we are going to draw the same this Kinari tangle here on the top. For that we are going to draw this border line. We'll stop wherever any other tangle kind of come in between. Join this line. And we will 
we'll start drawing our this canary tangle on the top canary one how do you like this border tangle I'll share this uh, deconstruction she sheet in my Facebook page uh, where you can uh, see all the step outs if you want and don't forget to add this in your Tangle Marathon journal too. Fill the space. Now I'm turning the tile to draw all those aura lines. I hope my screen is clear, visible. Here it's a little bit. And thank you, Shruti. Thank you, Navi. Now we are going to draw the double line on the of these fern, and we will stop or join it when we reach to the over the border. Keep it a little bit just wavy here that's absolutely okay because we are going to use the same different same style of the tangle like the amazed tangle you can keep your lines wavy on the wavy part of the tangle Perfect. How is everyone doing so far? The I know today. Simply safe is already armed. Let me just set to how many we have tangles we drew. We have we drew one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tangles, and now this is the last tangle which we are going to add today. That is. Uh, that will be the amazed angle. Let me just add few more tipples here.
Okay. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Teresa. Now we are going to add texture in our these little spaces and that's how you know when I see my tangle marathon so it helps a lot so this is the amaze tangle so we created lots of you know the filler tangle here these are the filler and the texture tangle and amaze is the first one there are various style I really love this tangle and I have used this tangle in my mandalas also a lot it gives beautiful texture so whenever you are creating any tile or something and if you decide like what kind of the uh, tangle you are looking so though that tangle marathon comes very handy that journal because you have so many tangles in each category and generally in every uh, session i keep asking you to add few more maybe i might take one session to add all those tangles in the tangle marathon if you have not added it yet so now I'm keeping it upside down so that I don't need to put my hand and we are going to draw this amazed angle and we are going to fill this all you see leftover spaces with this amazed angle little wiggly line here and there I'm still using the Micron 01 pen. For this one, if you want, you can use 003 or the 005. You will get a little bit much thinner line. That will also work nice and give a little extra space to draw. Try to fill this whole space with this amazed angle. So this is the last step of our tangle category in the zentangle method. This is the step number five, which we are working right now. I hope you didn't find this design very tough. I tried to make it very interesting. And fill this whole tile with this texture as the base texture and this is our whole tile after the drawing and fill this space also I don't really want to leave any space that's the 
theme of this style whole filled style that's what i told you in the very beginning this style is really very different than other tiles we are going to fill a lot in this one but i tried to maintain the balance by drawing this jockey and the fern and to keep it a little bit uh, you know non-filled spaces and this is the now time for the next step of the zentangle method that is the shading i hope everybody is done till here whoever is drawing along with me this brought back pleasant memories of my time in class with rick and maria yes thank you oh my god you remember those two are wonderful people yes rick and maria and maria uh decom like uh, deconstructed these tangles those are really amazing i think we we didn't write the amaze one right Let's write the maze tangle. That is again the Zentangle original tangle. Now I would like you to grab your pencil and let's start shading. So the first thing we are going to shade in this Kinari tangle inside of the border very lightly on the both side let's blend it Now I'm going to do the same thing on the top one first. Top canary tangle. So in the actual canary tangle, I drew this double line. But here I just wanted to keep the single line as it goes very well with the design so that's how we can change the variation but in the original canary one there are the double lines but now like here i have used it into the uh, ribbon style inside the verb tangle so you can use the one tangle in various ways that's the best part in the zen tangle Make your own version and take creative. How much difference this uh, shading brings, right? Look at the difference. Just look at the tile right now. Just to the these two borders, top and this bottom and the rest of the tile. I really love this shading part a lot. Now I'm doing little shading below this section as well as near to this circle here inside Let me just do that much first. Let me take the other one. The dragon air tangle. Now we are going to work on this hollyhock tangle.
we can draw these little crescent in the circles If you want, you can use white jelly roll pen for the little highlight. That will look nice. If you want to use the white jelly roll pen. Now, in this bronze sphere, on the edges of the bronze sphere, just on the very edges of them let them go little out that will create little shadow thing Now in this jockey here, make sure you are not going inside of the double line. Feel free to use the eraser if you really feel like, but I would suggest to skip that. And oh, I see little space here where I can fill this amazed angle. Now the edge of this jockey tangle. Shading is my favorite. Love to bring my drawing to another dimension. Yes, shading brings in another dimension. Takes your artwork to the another level bring everything together okay now Let's do a little bit here along with the circle at some places, not everywhere. Now the 
near to these fern at some places very lightly not very dark actually otherwise it will bring too much so do it very lightly with light hand little bit soft touch to this burn heads again feel free to use the white jelly roll pen in these burn heads too so let me just use white jelly roll pen here in this one i'm grabbing my white jelly roll pen and Let's see if it works, yeah. I don't know if it's visible. Let me just work a little bit more on the rough paper with this white so that ink flows very flow. It takes time sometimes to get the ink. And actually it is very, very light. Very subtle texture. That's it. And now it is the time for the initial and sign to I hope you all know how to write your chop with your initials. I'm going to make my chop here inside of this jockey maybe above here. And P and join it. This is my chop, very tiny. <laughs> and now in the back, I'm going to sign it. And I'm going to write today's date. You can write my, uh, like, let's tangle together. This one is 56, I think, isn't it? I don't really remember. I forgot the number. <laughs> I think this is 56. If it, it is different, I'll change if it is 58. I think this is 56. Let me see. I don't remember. Did I show you the uh, hashtag? I think I did. Oh, this is 58. That's what I was confused. So this is Let's Tangle Together 58. If you want, you can write down today's date. 20, 23, 11th March and Zentangle and whatever uh, hashtags you want to write or any of your feelings or anything. And now it's time to the appreciate again. I'm, yeah, thank you, Shruti. <laughs> I just checked the hashtag. So, and I, I really want to say thank you to all of you to join me today. And I'm really happy that we played with so many tangles today in this artwork. And I created, I deconstructed one of my own tangle. That is, that is the Kinari one. I'm really excited for that one. I hope you guys also enjoyed working with me in this one. So this is the Zen Tangle session with so many different beautiful tangle. I can't wait 
to see you guys next to next week. I'm working on this uh, mandala right now, which I showed you. That is the uh, Metatron's Cube mandala. I'll try to complete it, make a video and upload it for all my Patreons and all, all my YouTube Oak members. And you can unlock all past videos too. Bye bye. See you in two weeks now. I'm going to make a post of it on my Facebook page. Don't forget to share your artwork with me there.